Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Another video on our UU Euphoria, but this time the this room is the best one. Uh, so here I have al already booted into recovery mode by pressing volume down and power button. And this process, you know, the we have to wipe the advanced wipe, and uh, after that, installing the room. Uh, with this room, we got a app universal app uh, zip file that we have also to flash that file here is the one so after flashing we need the nano version of G apps here I have already downloaded so after this wipe catch and Dalvik just reboot your device and uh, guys i'm requesting all of you all of my viewers to uh, like this video and subscribe if you like it so after booting you can see here the device looks cool it has it has so many features now let's agree it uh, it, is, it helps us the finding the new apps or download So in this room we got a music player too. Let's check how it works. Yes, here it is. It looks just awesome. You can see the animation of it. As we want to play a song. Introduction automatic. Now it's time to check the hidden features of this room. As you can see, double tap is working just fine. So let's turn on the internet first. Let's see, does it have the data bug? No, it doesn't have because LD is working fine. They got a hack for this, as the developer said. Now let's, che let's check out the settings. We got so many features in the settings. Like, let me show you the XOSP settings. Yeah, this is the animation of Xperia Open Source project. XOSP settings, and uh, first is status bar personalization. So what to show and what not to and uh, these are some features that you can turn on and off that's all on you as you can see double tap to sleep is working double tap to wake is working fine this setting can blur the background actually the proximity sensor is working fine in this room so they have gave some gestures also I will show you in them later but right now let's check these button setting yes now you can see it works it is like you can scroll where to show the buttons as they are on the half screen now when I press the save button you can see buttons scrolled to the right side <laughs> it looks cool we can change the setting whenever we want but I am using my one hand so it is difficult for me to change them all. as it is getting really difficult to set them I need some time for these fixing. They are just scrolling here from there.
now these are some other features like break up the device and double tap on lock screen now let's check the equalizer yes we got some equalizer information about wiper and uh, this one yeah this is a really cool feature it will show you or um, i mean predict our battery uses but it takes 48 hours i'm using it in this room for 13 hours so it is showing 37 now here we got expanded desktop yes these are the gestures so when i draw the c so it just opens the camera it is so fast actually all other all are also working the same like in other rooms this feature never works but in this room all the features are supporting like see as you can see when i draw o flashlight turned on uh, we have some other like uh, uh, hand wave on pulse notification or uh, so many and we have given some custom gestures like w uh, set it for whatsapp So this is like so these are some other ambient display and pocket this pocket one works very good when you put your device out from your pocket so it shows a blank screen but with the notification only and this one is proximity wake up it is also working good like let me show you when I wave my hand over the sensor I just turned on my screen so this is really cool so these are some features now let's check um, whether it supports dual volte or not yes number one some set, some one setting it is showing volte and as 40 LT mode device is very stickable but in the sim sense 2 it is not showing here so it is single sim supported so don't forget to like and subscribe my channel